hello guys in this video i will control my camera with a web page which will run on local area network with the node mcu open wi-fi and connect to the ssid of the node mcu then open your favorite browser and search that ip address that you will get in the serial monitor of the arduino ide Then here you can see a green button appears so when we click this green button a photo is clicked in my laptop so let's see how i make this project Hello everyone, welcome to Omega Electronics. Here is a program that has to be uploaded in the ESP8266 development board. So at first I had included the library which is ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h. It will give us all the Wi-Fi related commands. If you are using ESP32, then you have to import ESP32 Wi-Fi.h library. Then here is Wi-Fi client, then client as a variable. This will create the client to connect to our specified IP address. Then here is Wi-Fi server, then server. 80 this 80 is the port number in which our server re listen to then here in the word setup i started the serial communication with the baud rate 1,15,200 it is the same speed in which our node mc will send the data then from this command wi-fi dot soft ap ap stand for access point it will take two parameters first is your ssid name then its password so mine ssid is valan camera wireless uh, local area network camera and its password is uh, one two three if you want to set, uh, set it as the open network then you have to uh, set here empty string then after that i am starting my server with this server dot begin command then i want to display the ip address in which my server has started so from this soft ap ip command i will get the uh, local ip address uh, then here in the void setup a variable client server dot available uh, if client equals equals one if any client is joining the server then a string request then client dot read string until this read string until reads uh, reads the characters and convert into a string then it slash n means a uh, new line uh, read next uh, line from starting then client dot flush this flush functions wait until all outgoing characters have been sent from the buffer buffer is the temporarily stored uh, data are stored in this when they are moved from uh, one place to another then after that here if request dot index of this index of uh, method returns the position of our first occurrence of a specified value and here i am using a specified value as photo so if there will be photo it will return uh, a one if there will no photo then this will return a minus one if the value is not found so if uh, these uh, is true then i want to print one in this serial monitor where i am printing here one i will tell you later then this are the command which have to be executed in the uh, web page so this http slash 1.1200 okay this is the success code this uh, success respond code uh, it displays when our task has been succeeded then here is content type text html uh, that means here with the uh, it will take only textual type data then here is uh, doc type html this all the document type html uses this doc type html then here is title as controlling camera then after that here press click to enter which uh, will be displayed in my web page then here is the program of the button which i had made uh, a square button with 500 pixels height and 500 pixels width with green color and here is the port, uh, code completed so let's upload this program in the node mc hey guys here is the programming of python at first you need to install some uh, modules uh, uh, serial and pi auto gui this is uh, pi serial this uh, module helps uh, the python to communicate with the serial devices and this pi auto gui this is very nice uh, module that gives us uh, python access to press any key in the keyboard uh, actually it automate uh, the keyboard 
you can install this uh, by just running this commands in your command prompt it will install this in your system then a variable as port serial dot serial comp 2l this comp 2l is the comp port in, you, uh, in which your node mcu is connected so uh, you can get it by going to device manager and go to comp port section and here you can see comp 2l this is my node mcu then here is 1,15,200 it is the same speed through which the node mcu sends the data in the arduino code here you can see uh, this uh, speed must be same in both of these com codes then here is infinite loop as while true then a variable as a line which will store the uh, line by line reader data from the port this uh, read line function help us to read the data line by line if line then a variable string and then line dot decode this decode function help us to convert the byte string into a unicode string then this unicode string then converted into a integer and stored in a variable num if num equals equals one remember what we have done in the serial monitor one if it will print one if the button is pressed that means one then pi auto gui dot press using this pi auto gui dot press we are pressing the keys in our keyboard space so it will uh, press the space button virtually so here's full program completed so let's uh, run this program